A few days ago, the news of the death of a Chinese man attracted the attention of the whole of Japan. His name is Chen Kenichi, and he is one of the most famous Sichuan cuisine chefs in Japan. Behind him are the hard stories of several generations of Chinese chefs who promoted Sichuan cuisine to the world. In fact, when most Japanese meet Chinese friends, they always mention two authentic Chinese things, pandas and mapo tofu. To be honest, I was surprised that mapo tofu can be compared with panda. In fact, behind this is the tireless persistence of several generations of the Chun family. In today's video, let's learn about the story of this iron chef, the Chinese who made the whole world fall in love with mapo tofu. Chen Kenichi is the second successor of the well-known Chinese restaurant Sichuan Restaurant in Tokyo. He is regarded as the promoter of Japanese mapo tofu. After the obituary was issued, all Japan, from cartoonists to ordinary people, began to mourn spontaneously. Some Japanese media called him a great man. Atsushi Ogawa, the manga author of True Cooking Master Boy, posted an article recalling that he was shocked by Chin Kenichi's handsome cooking style, so he created the plot of the protagonist of True Cooking Master Boy cooking mapo tofu. He not only watched Chin Kenichi's videos many times, but also bought many of his books. The video that Ogawa mentioned is the food competition show Iron Chef that Chen Kenichi participated in that year. The program invites famous chefs from all over the world to come to the competition, cook according to the theme ingredients of each issue, and finally judge the Iron Chef according to the scores of special guests and professional gourmets. At that time, Chen Kenichi became the Iron Chef for 17 consecutive episodes, breaking the program record, and his reputation spread all over Japan, so he was nicknamed Iron Chef of Chinese Cuisine. From 1993 to 1999, he held a record of 63 wins and 17 losses on this show, impressing the Japanese housewife community. In fact, Chen Kenichi's father, Chen Kenmen, was the founder of Sichuan Restaurant, and it was he who brought mapo tofu to Japan. Chen Kenmen's story is full of legends. In the 1920s, he started his wandering life from Yibin, Sichuan, along the Yangtze River to Chongqing, Wuhan, Nanjing, and Shanghai, where he worked as a chef in different restaurants and accumulated various experiences. Later, Chen Kenmin came to Japan on the recommendation of a friend, and there was an interesting story. When he visited Japan briefly on a tourist visa, the local officials were reluctant to let him leave after eating the food he cooked, and issued a visa extension for him. To put it simply, the father, Chen Kenmen, was the first person to bring Sichuan cuisine to Japan, and the son, Chen Kenichi, was the one who promoted mapo tofu to the whole of Japan. Chen Kenichi is known as the master of Japanese mapo tofu, was selected as a contemporary master craftsman by the Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare of Japan, and was awarded the medal with yellow ribbon by the government. It is one of the six medals issued by the Japanese government, awarded to those who are diligent and diligent in business and can serve as a role model for others. As his reputation grew, Chin Kenichi himself became a signboard. Except for his own restaurant, other restaurants or dishes marked with the word Chin Kenichi will also become popular. What makes the Japanese feel more cordial is that the Chin family does not have the style of many Japanese family businesses that do not go outside. Chen Kenmen not only published recipes, but also founded the Chinese Cuisine Academy, which has trained tens of thousands of chefs. Chen Kenichi also made his secret books public and published many books. The traditional Sichuan cuisine mapo tofu tastes spicy, but it does not meet the light taste of the Japanese. After bringing the mapo tofu to Japan, Chen Kenmin and Chen Kenichi made continuous improvements. Chen Kenmin first replaced Sichuan peppercorns with pepper, and replaced bean paste and sweet noodle sauce with bacho miso, which reduced the spiciness of mapo tofu. Later, Chen Kenichi replaced the beef with pork. The improvement of the dishes by the father and son is not limited to mapo tofu. Chen Kenmin replaces the garlic sprouts needed for the well known twice cooked pork in Sichuan cuisine with cabbage that is easier to buy in Japan and the spiciness is also reduced by 20 to 30 percent. Dandan noodles are originally dry noodles, but the Japanese are used to soup noodles, and soup is added to dandan noodles to conform to the local eating habits. Chen Kenichi later contributed his own Iron Man Mapo Tofu recipe, 
conforming to the streaming media era, and teaching everyone how to make it step by step in the form of video. He introduced the steps of Mapo tofu in great detail. Starting from the selection of raw tofu varieties, to the direction and order of cutting the knife, and the processing of various ingredients, the cut tofu should be soaked in water, and the green onions should be cut into 10 centimeters, stir fry the bean paste and sweet noodle sauce evenly, then add boiled tofu, and even add salt to the water to cook the tofu. The details are also intimately explained, trying to let netizens watch the video to make the same delicious maple tofu as in the restaurant. This maple tofu making video released by the Japanese Chinese Cuisine Association has more than 2 million views. The hands-on teaching made Japanese netizens choose to eat maple tofu in this spontaneous commemoration of Chen Kenichi. Such efforts were not in vain. Maple tofu has gradually become a national dish in Japan, and many chefs have created new branches. In order to meet these needs, the Japanese market also launched maple tofu cooking packets that are easy to cook in the early years. The Japanese variety show the world unknown to Matsuko once bought back 76 kinds of maple tofu seasoning packets in a program. From the most authentic chin maple tofu to the improved Japanese-style food package, from spicy to non-spicy, from those that need to be reprocessed by themselves to those that can be heated in the microwave, everything is available. Among the fans captured by maple tofu in Japan are countless celebrities, the famous Japanese actor Ken Takakura loved maple tofu during his lifetime. Tamahisa Yamashita did not forget to take a photo with maple tofu when he traveled to China. In Japanese film and television dramas, maple tofu also appears frequently. Maple tofu still has some cult fans. The world unknown to Matsuko interviewed Ryo Fujisaki, who is a drummer by profession. When he was 20 years old, he bought authentic maple tofu buns in a Chinese supermarket in Tokyo. Since then, he has fallen in love with maple tofu and eats maple tofu at least four days a week. Driven by him, the host Matsuko Derakusu couldn't help saying that he should eat maple tofu for the last meal before he died. The Japanese's obsession with maple tofu even combined with the support culture, which gave birth to a fan group. For their favorite maple tofu, these fans spared no effort to promote it in Japan and spontaneously held the Sichuan Cuisine Festival to plan activities for well-known Sichuan restaurants to compete for the title of the strongest maple tofu, among them, the most hardcore Sichuan cuisine fans directly caught up with Sichuan, only for the most authentic maple tofu. This is not an isolated case. In fact, after Sichuan cuisine has formed a subtle food culture overseas, it has also begun to feed back China. Many overseas Sichuan cuisine lovers come to China for travel, study, and work because of this, and some fanatical fans even start to seek their roots and come to China just to taste the authentic taste of their favorite dishes. Korean gourmet Baek Jongwon came to Chengdu as the first stop in his food show Street Food Fighter. The first meal was of course authentic maple tofu. From the moment the tofu was brought to the table, he couldn't help smiling, and when the tofu was mixed with rice, he grinned to his ears. The sincere deliciousness is really hard to pretend. Comparable to the overseas popularity of maple tofu is Kung Pao chicken. There was once an American fanatic who traveled thousands of miles to China in order to taste the authentic Kung Pao chicken. A German student said in an interview that because of his deep impression of Kung Pao chicken, the first thing he did when he came to China was to go to a restaurant to eat this dish. Even though there are many Chinese people who are overwhelmed by the Japanese sweet maple tofu, no matter how they are improved, these Sichuan dishes can always gain a lot of iron fans all over the world. The most important reason is, Sichuan cuisine is so delicious. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.